Okay, so we have uh, Bass FZZ from uh, YouTube. We got Cognitive Dissonance, and uh, they're going to debate veganism. Um, I may talk to Bass myself after, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Just going to unmute them both now. So this is like a full-on debate, and I have to convince you to eat meat? Um, no, it's... Pretty much at this point, I just want to see your understanding and if you can actually give a um, good argument for the name of trade, uh, so a good response to the name of trade argument. Uh, that's if you can convince me to eat meat, that'd be great as well. That'd make my life a whole lot easier. I would imagine if you want to eat meat, you should just do it. I'm, yeah, I'm so, going to be pretty candid, by the way. I'm not. I'm not coming here for. Yeah. So, I mean. It'd be a lot easier to eat animal products, obviously, but there may be uh, certain um, con uh, considerations that I have which over override my desire to you know, eat animal products. You understand that, right? So, I do. Yeah. So, it's, it's, so essentially, we'll just go down, I guess, the name of the trade argument for it for the moment. So... Um, you, you, we were just wondering, what is it about animals that sort of... Uh, reduces their consideration to you so much that you're happy to just continue um, participating in the, I guess, what is a large animal holocaust um, and you wish to argue against people um, who are away from or who are choosing to abdicate away from it and that you think, I assume, it's like a neutral sort of issue and not really much of an issue of concern. Uh, I'm not sure I entirely understand. You want me to answer why I think it's okay to eat animal products? Yeah, yeah. So you, you understand the and, whole concept of veganism or what, what, what's going on behind that, right? Yeah, and the second part is you want me to answer why I don't think that it's a uh, huge... So m more, more importantly, I, like, okay, we'll just start with you've got the name of the trade argument, right? So you met, you okay. tried to give several responses to that. I'm just wondering what your response is, whereby it's okay to treat animals the way that we currently treat them. And if you would be okay with us treating humans and what it is really that um, it reduces their value enough. To All right. Well, if we start with uh, why do I think it's okay to mistreat animals? Uh, I really don't. I think it's okay to kill and eat them. I don't think it's okay to mistreat. Okay. So Mostly do you because I don't, I don't see any, um, purpose or point to it it's, it would be purely sadistic now, however to consume an animal it's to obtain energy you know, plant. yeah so i mean you you i'm sure you're aware that you can obtain energy without consuming animal products so it's not something that's exclusively required through animal products it doesn't have to be either yeah yeah no i'm not saying it has to be from a non-animal product i'm saying you you've stated that you're getting energy from it but yes. you can get energy from. So now, if it was the case, I can just make it simple. So if it was the case that, um, say, we had some sort of a similar system whereby we were killing a set of human beings, right, and we were farming the same way that we currently farm hum uh, farm animals, would you, uh, would you buy pro these products and or would you discourage other people from buying these products? No, I'd never eat or consume anything from a human. Mostly okay. because I want my species to continue to exist. Yeah, so the point I'm making is so it would be a situation where the species would continue existing and wouldn't have a problem continuing existing. We, well, not, we, not we as, can exploit and kill and eat human eat, beings though. without without actually like endangering or threatening the species, right? Like we've been exploiting pigs for years and they're not in any way close to being um, extinct. I mean, fair enough, but like, how would that benefit humanity in any particular way? If, Sorry, I, if, I, if I want, if I want my species to thrive, and them being eaten and, and ripped apart by other humans, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't solve anything. In fact, I mean, there are wars going on, like right now, as we speak. There's slavery going on right now, like as we speak. There's abortions going on right now, as we speak. And that's that, that. Yeah, that's that's just animal. going down. That's Human. just going down a whole, yeah, it's thing. just a whole, whole lot of ramble, right? The so what is it, this, if you, if you just, 
yeah, yeah. If you, but I don't, I don't want a huge ramble about it. So you're stating it would, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pay for it, right? No. Now I also understand that you would you. The other question, part of the question was, would you discourage others from participating in this same sort of um, industry and like basically buying products from this industry? Clearly, yes. I okay. discourage humans from hurting each other all the time. Okay, so what is it about animals that reduces their value or for you makes the difference that it's okay to, well, you don't bother discouraging people from um, buying animal products and additionally, you also participate in buying these animal products? It's the lack of more responsibility and more risk. Okay, and what, cool. And what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is an animal has no capacity and, and no ability to reciprocate morality between us. So no matter how, if I meet a bobcat on the field, on the mountain, mountain lion, whatever, they are under no obligation to not attack me. And I'm under no obligation to not attack him. The only reason I would even consider not hurting the bobcat is because I can rationalize and think critically because, you know, I have a whole neocortex and that whole thing. That bobcat doesn't have that. So yeah, why so would do, I give him are we farming? Are we farming bobcats, or what are we farming and killing? It doesn't matter. It, I mean, they're all animals are on the same playing field. Okay, so it's the of, it's the ability unless, to unless, it's the ability. On, just one second. It's the ability. Argue, yeah, so it's the ability yeah, to. We're talking about like farm animals because I'm talking about animals in principle. Like they're, they're all the same to me. Like so, yeah, if, so, if we were farming bobcats, it would make no difference to me. Okay, cool. So it's just as long as you, you you're saying their ability to understand moral responsibility and reciprocate morality or something along those lines. Yes, and then they'd have to be held to the same responsibility too. Okay, so do you, would you believe or do you think that there are human beings who have the same sort of cognitive capacity as animals and can uh, reciprocate, 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 sorry, um, morality to the same level as uh, animals? I think you cut out there for a second. So do you think there are human beings that have sort of moral responsibility to the same level of Well, we all have moral responsibility to each other. So it's not the same. So that's it, not the would, question I asked you. So like you're, you're saying, uh, I assume what? when you said, when you're talking about animals, that they can't, uh, do you mean they can't uh, like understand morality to the same level as, as an average human being? Or what, what exactly yes okay do you think all human beings understand morality and ethics or can sort of discuss it and think about it to the same yes so do you think a one-year-old can understand the same same level of like philosophy and moral philosophy as say like a i don't know philosophy professor of like 50 years obviously so you I mean, okay? I mean, so uh, on, one, like, one like, day you're wrong. Let's old. not pretend. Come on, dude. No, no, Obviously, no. Just, just to be clear. Have to be taught to learn how okay, to so reciprocate the, morality. So at that clearly, point, obviously. I'm just, I'm just but getting, we, I'm just getting clarity on the on the table, right? So that's just a straightforward contradiction. The capacity. If it's the case, okay, cool. That's fine. Are there people that are cognitively impaired and will never get to that level of capacity? Uh, there, there could be, and like, if you mean mentally challenged people, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So mentally challenged people, uh, people with dementia. I don't know if you ever dealt with people with dementia, but do you think that those kinds of people have the same level of um, understanding of morality as, say, uh, like an average person or, say, someone who's involved in moral philosophy and discussing moral philosophy? Probably not. Okay, so... You agree that they, those kinds of people don't have the same level as uh, the average person, maybe. So, right now, let's just say, if they do, you think that it's possible that they have the same level of understanding of morality and moral responsibility and all of that? As you cut out again. So, do you think there are human beings that could have the understanding of moral responsibility? Um, and sorry, what was the other part that you said? Moral responsibility and reciprocation. Yeah, you have to be able yeah. to understand morality, and we all have a responsibility to give it back to each other. Yeah. Day. So if these if these human beings don't understand mor a morality to that level and cannot reciprocate it, would it be okay to farm to farm them? No, it yeah. would be okay to put them in prison. 
Yeah, so we, just so you understand, there are mentally handicapped people who can't, um, who won't necessarily uh, go out of the way to try and attack you, but they just don't understand moral, um, like uh, moral reasoning to the same level as the average person, right? You yeah. understand? And we put them in mental institutions. No, 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 I'm not talking about mental, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking about, no, 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 I'm not talking, like, all right, right, one second. Okay, so can you see in general chat? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that, that's, uh, that's a now past lady called Brie, right? Uh, a late, yeah. So do you think she has the same ability to um, understand morality as, say, um, like you yeah, or no. me or like, yeah? Probably not. Okay, cool. So do you think it would be okay to farm this skill? No. Okay, so if you're saying it is and isn't the case that moral responsibility and moral reciprocation is the thing that, that allows us to farm animals... Um, then it should be the case that, yeah, yeah. So now you're saying it's it's not okay to farm this person while they have the same trait. So it just seems like you've got a contradiction going on there. Well, I mean, it is. Me, it, it, it is. You won't let me talk. Yeah. So if if the thing on the you gotta on let the me table, the thought. look, yeah, I'm happy to let you complete it if it's actually relevant. But if the thing you said is moral responsibility and ability to. Uh, reciprocate morality, yes, right? We have a responsibility and you're saying his... to them. She is someone's yeah. child, is she not? Right. So her so... parents have a responsibility to her. They are humans. And humans cool. so... have to survive and reproduce. So it would not make sense for you to kill other humans when you want to survive and reproduce. We so also we have could, a functioning we society. Could... The only way our society just to be can clear, function, just to, yeah, so you just just, just complete ramble, just complete. So I, you, you I can address ramble, both of those things, right? You calling it ramble? It is ramble. It's complete ramble, right? So to what I'm saying. So here, look, dude. So, so here's the I'll thing: put it to you like this. we could we could farm these people. We could farm these I, people. Listen, and I'm not still arguing to farm humans. Society. I'm not arguing to farm humans. I will never argue it's okay to farm humans. We are not either. We are not either. I'm just wondering why it is within your system or within your views, right, that it's not okay to farm these people, right, when you said that they have the same trait of relevance as an animal, right? So I am not okay with farming these people. Well, I am not okay with farming animals. They're, they're, so what is it? Oh, the same animal. They are humans. That is whole. Being a human is wholly the difference. That's the whole difference. They're humans. Okay, so you're dropping in moral responsibility, organism, moral listen, reciprocation, moral and reciprocation, it's just down to the human. Yes, and that is That's because okay. we are humans. We can morally reciprocate between each other because we are humans. It's all so, one thing. We're humans. We that's have just, that capacity. That's just complete sophistry, Rambo. So can. you've just, just one second. So you said that they're humans and they can morally reciprocate when I've just shown you a person who can't morally reciprocate to the okay, same level, listen, right? So it's just a pointless statement. In principle means relating to the definition of, okay? In principle, humanity is not mentally challenged. In principle, the vast majority of us humans, the vast majority of us 7 billion people can have a conversation like this. And even if you say that you have children who don't understand this, they will and they can because they have that capacity. A cat will never have that. A pig, a cow, a chicken will never have that capacity. There is no way to raise a chicken to act morally responsible. It cannot happen. And that is wholly okay. the difference. They're not humans. They can't think like humans. They can't rationalize like humans. They have no responsibility to us as humans. Do we you have think a you... society. We have yeah, to do you function think, together do you in think, our society. Do you think... Do you think you could raise Bree? Yeah. Do you think do you that. could? Do you think you could raise Bree to uh, morally reciprocate like the average human being? Can, can you argue the principle, please? Do you? Yeah, yeah. So, do you think you could raise? I'm just because you've you've made several disjointed points, right? Uh, are you? So are you I'm the just picking one. My point. So, so why don't you? Why don't you just write out your point really clearly? Because all I can see is just a whole lot of. If I'm being charitable to you, right, it'd be something like um, the average human being 
can, has this capacity and therefore all the other human beings get consideration along those lines. Yes. Okay, cool. And if it was the case, right, so let's just say 51%, and this is where you're going to have to come along with me on the hypothetical rides. If it was the case that just say 51%, right, uh, couldn't reason at the level of what we now consider an average human being, right, and, and, and sort of reasoned at the level of an animal, would it be okay to farm human beings? No. Okay, so if it's if it, if you're saying it's the rule for the average, or the rule for the majority, and then in the next instance saying it isn't the rule for the majority and the rule for the average, then that's just a straightforward contradiction as well. So can you try again? Once again, a human being is still a human being. Okay, so I now it it seems to thrive. So you my keep saying you want your species thrive. to thrive, but you, you, I'm just pointing out, I'm just pointing out, it's completely logically possible, it's completely logically possible that we could farm these people, right? Just farm a whole set of human beings and the species could still thrive. Like you just keep saying that as if somehow the species, the thriving of the species is somehow dependent on us not farming these people, right? Like yes. if there's some sort of logical impossibility. Yes. All right, show me the logical the, the, logical, the logical contradiction is people being kept in cages and being ripped apart and eaten and killed would not be them being able to live their own life, be able to have right. families, be able to have a functioning society, would be able to have them loving each other and being well. It, it, it could okay, not so function in that capacity. Yeah, so let's just be clear. Are you saying it would allow the species to thrive or the specific people to thrive? The species, humanity. Okay, so now you're going to have to show me the contradiction, right? So is okay. it the case that the species could Listen. thrive while a certain set of that species is exploited? And So, so you're saying the, the humans who are the farm, the farm keepers, would they be thriving? Would they be okay? The cannibals, would they be okay? Is that yeah, I assume so. If they're making I a would profit, imagine then they, so, then, yes. then they, would, then I, they I would, would thrive. I would imagine that they would be totally fine. Yeah, right. So if they're thriving... All right, and then the the rest of the species that is eating the farmed set of human beings is doing fine. Then why is it the case that you're saying farming these human beings will result in the hum the species not thriving? Because now you you just stay. If, if is listen, it possible? Listen, 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 listen. I'm listening. Let's say we split it fifty fifty down the middle. Fifty percent of humans are being eaten and being like raised in this farm institution. The other 50 are eating them. They're cannibals, okay? Mm -hmm. So one half is thriving. The other half is being farmed. The whole of humanity is in a state of dysfunction because we have some people being eaten and we have another set of people who are not, okay? In my point of view, that is not functional. That is not okay. And it does not help humanity as a whole the whole, one half, two half, work together. So the whole is off balance. So that's All the right, problem. so is it, do we just have to farm slightly less than 50%? Because if the majority are thriving. Humans. I am not going to argue it's okay to farm so, humans. Again, so again, I do not want to argue for farming human beings. So right? as long as we're I on the same page argue. here... No, 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 that's not, that's not, that's, I don't, I don't expect you to say that it's okay, right? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why it's okay to treat animals like that. And you're saying it's not okay to treat humans like that. What's the major difference so far right now? Just one second, just one second, just one second, right? So, right, if you're saying that the species will not be able to thrive, Right, and you're saying the majority of the species specifically would not be thriving if about half of those species is being farmed. Is it just as long as less than half of the species is being farmed, and the rest of the the majority of the species, let's just say sixty forty split, and the sixty percent is just doing really well, while the other forty percent is being farmed? Is that ethical to you? No. Is that is that the symmetry breaker for you? No. Okay, so then you can't say it is the case that. Um, the thriving of the species is is the issue here. 
That's just okay. providing contradiction, right? No, it is. We have sixty percent thriving. We have the majority of the species it's thriving. Not about the majority, it's about the whole. It's about all of us. If a part of us is not thriving, there is an issue. Okay, so, so it's, the whole. So it's it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's ninety ten. It doesn't matter if it's ninety nine one percent. I want one hundred percent of humans are able to at least attempt to have a good life. At least be able to attempt to try. If some people are being held in a cage waiting to be killed and eaten, they are not attempting to at least try to have their own families, their own life, their own goals, their own values. Okay. So it doesn't matter. There's no percentage you can make that's ever going to make it okay. Cool. And what is it about animals specifically that you do not care about them thriving? So we're talking about what pigs, cows, horses, and all. Of them. Yeah, just any, anything that you're anything that you're. What do you currently eat? Factory farmed animals, or what do you? Yeah, I'll I'll eat anything, anything so that's you, available. Right. So you you eat factory farmed animals, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're okay supporting the factory farming of animals. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's just be let's have that clear on the table. So you are okay with uh, animals being treated badly and you're happy to support mm, yeah you're literally paying for it yeah okay so when you said that earlier that you're not okay with it you were actually were you lying to me or was you contradicted yourself here uh i was lying to you i guess okay cool I so think, i think can, can uh, you try to be can, can you try to be clarify. honest from here on well hold on can you try hold to be on. honest can from you, here on? can you can you let me talk my can you let me clarify it for a second like I'll be. I'll listen, you I'll start. Be you started. You started the. Let me you be started the let me accent be really good. Let me be clear. You then. started Australian and then you let, went let me, really British. But let's, let me let's, be clear then. Okay. Let me be clear. I am okay with consuming animals. Now, do I want the animals to be beaten and mistreated? Not really. Now, that's just me personally. Do I think humanity has any obligation to them as a whole? Not really. No, I don't. But me personally, Bassev's easy. Do I want them to be hurt? Not really. Do I care if they're killed? No, I'm okay. I, you know, we have to consume living organisms or, I mean, organisms or products in general, and they don't have to be living, to just continue to thrive, to exist. That's just the nature of reality. Like, I didn't make it that way. That's just how it is. Okay, so cool. I am okay with them being killed. And you're okay with them being treated badly as well, obviously. Not really. You, you just, you've literally just told me that you pay for factory, to eat factory farmed animals. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> you are okay paying for people to factory farm animals. Sure. Okay, then why do you keep doing that? I, but why do you, why do you just I keep doing that? Animals, I'm telling you. Why. Okay, that's that, no, no, no. That's not what I'm asking you. All you I know? ask you is, all I'm asking you is, you're okay with a system which factory farms animals and treats them badly, and you're saying, well, I don't prefer it. All I'm saying is you're okay paying for well, that, right? Well, if I don't it's prefer ridiculous. it, then I'm not okay with it. That's not how I no, want no, no, it to no. be. It's, no, 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 no. You have, you, you literally, do. where do you live? Um, why would I, why would, you, you don't have to tell I me live? the street address or anything. Like, well, I'll just make some assumptions and it's like, probably going to be, know you. it's probably, it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really give a fuck where you live. It's, no, you know, I'm, I'm just going to make I'm a statement, right? I'm, so, bust, I'm busting your so balls, dude. So it's, it's, it's likely <laughs> going to be the case, right, that you have access to not factory farmed animals and you have <laughs> access to a vegan, a vegan set of options for food, right? But you've repeatedly cho chosen and you continue to choose to eat factory farmed animals. So you do not really particularly give a fuck about not paying people to not fi factory farm animals, right? So you're okay paying for people to factory farm animals. It's just yeah. a straightforward step. Yeah, okay, that's all we... Yeah. I just wanted... You, and you said at the start that you're not okay with that, right? So it sounded like you were just fucking well, lying. I'm not it. okay with them being hurt. I don't care with them being hurt. Yes, you hurt. are. That You are literally okay with it. If you're happy, if I, you have I, another I mean, option... You seem, you seem if to you not have be able an option to, to not... To, no, just listen, listen, you're, listen, you're listen. You're not listen, comprehending right? this. Yeah, this is all I'm saying. This is all I'm saying. This, I'll put it really simply, right? I have option A, I have option B, I have option C. All of those are easily attainable for me, right? Option A involves torturing animals, right? Option B involves not torturing animals. Option C involves not torturing animals, right? I do not really give a fuck. I'll happily choose option A. Am I okay with choosing the option that tortures animals? Yeah. Okay, that's that's literally all I was saying to you, 
right? And then earlier when I asked you about it, you said you're not okay with it, but clearly you're okay with it. Okay. Yeah, right. that's no, no, that's the me, point. That, that's the point. The so, same thing. Over and over. Right. No. 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 We. I just want you to clearly understand the point I, that was being I made, which is that you are okay. What I keep saying. Yeah. So I understand that you're saying so that you I... you would prefer you would prefer that that wasn't happening, but you're not willing to even make the slightest tiny 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 little changes, whereby you can you have the pro, you have the option to not choose that thing. But you're just not gonna make. You're just okay not choosing that thing. No, I I want I I don't want the animals to be tortured. I don't. Okay, mind them. so you 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 have you have so the option. Words, in other words, listen, I'm okay with going into the wilderness, taking a double barrel shotgun and killing a deer. No, no, no. I don't. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give. I, no, that's, I, I just don't care about ramble. I do not care about that ramble. I just don't care. Just don't care about ramble. Listen. So just, just simple. This is simple logic. This I is just okay. sa simple, simple, so simple stuff, simple dude. Just super simple logic. stuff, right? All right. I am so okay. option A. Cow. No, no, no. Pigs. I don't. It's not, we're not talking about I'm killing. Fine with that. We're not even I talking about killing at this pig. point. I don't like. I don't like beating a cow. I don't like beating them. I don't think. You are you? Are you okay? I don't like are you okay? I don't like. Are you pigs. okay? I don't like. Are you okay paying for people? Are you okay paying for? Are you paying? Okay. Eating that pig. Yes. Yes, that, that's am. that's all we're saying. We're saying you have the option to not pay for that, right? But you choose repeatedly to pay for that. That's sure. what we're saying. So you yes. are okay paying okay, yes. for that to happen. Yes. That's all. That's all. All right. Cool. Yes. Now we've yes. got the concession. All right. That's fine. Now, I mean, you, I think. Yeah, I mean, you're just at this point. I would say you saying you're okay paying for animals to be tortured is a pretty okay. bad concession on your point. Yeah, sure. I would say that's pretty sure. bad. Okay. Sure. Cool. Now we, all right. I mean, I'm not really sure I need to go any further, but so far, let's just point out that you're okay paying for people to torture animals and kill them, right? And this is an option, which is uh, arguably no, it's not better for your health, arguably worse for your health. It's severely damaging to the environment. It's uh, accelerating antibiotic resistance growth. Um, it's using up resources that could easily be redire yeah, redirected to feed more human beings, right? So that's the option you're choosing. It's not just that you're choosing to uh, torture animals or pay yes. for people yes. to cho torture and kill animals. You're also yes. doing something that's worse for your health. You're doing something that's okay. worse for the environment. You're doing something okay. that's helping accelerate antibiotic resistance um, development. You're using up more resources. It. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Do you have a good okay. argument for that? Or are, you just, are you just taking all of that on the chin? Yeah, I'm taking it all on the chin because you're not listening to me. No, no, I listen to you, right? If you actually have a relevant statement for all of that, if you every actually time, have a good counter every time argument, I make it, you then I'm happy to... It's just some kind of ramble. You won't listen. You're not listening yeah, to the argument. Yeah, you're trying to ramble. The point, the point that I've made clearly, mind. which you everyone's heard at this point... ramble, but you're not listening. Yeah, I'm not interested in, in just a pointless ramble where you talk about you're happy to go out onto the into the forest and shoot an animal. That's not shoot, the point I'm, I'm getting to. I'm happy to go into a You're farm to... and slitting a cow's throat. And, and if you had the later. option, if you had the option, right? And this is this is why Listen, it just doesn't I matter. Because what you've conceded I can to, what you've just stop, I can just stop. The what you've conceded to, I can what do you've both. had, or you can just choose to eat the plants. Or I can eat both. Or you can choose to eat the plants and not hurt the animal, right? And that's what right, that's sure, the issue. I could. Then I could, why don't you do that? But I'm an omnivore because I want to eat the cow. Are you talking about functional omnivore? Are you talking about biological om omnivore? Are you saying that it's healthier yes, for you? I'm a you say okay, so I'm not okay. saying. Listen, I didn't say it. Listen, listen. I'm not arguing about health. I've never argued about health. I argued in terms of morality. We don't owe animals anything. So listen, you can have 150,000 different reasons why being vegan is healthier. Fine, I concede. I don't know, can't argue. But in terms okay, of morality, cool. uh, I can't argue. Logically, it's inconsistent to you, say that you we think... need to treat animals the same way we treat humans. It's ridiculous. It's no, 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 no. That's that's not what the we've said. That that's we not consider, that's the fact not that we even been... consider animals in any moral reciprocal in, in any moral capacity is ridiculous to me. It's silly. That is, so if we're gonna argue that, let's argue that. I'll I'll concede one hundred percent. Is being vegan healthier? I don't know, probably. I can see. I don't know. I can't argue with you. 
So if we're going to just... talk about morality, if we're going to talk about philosophy, if we're going to talk about logic, it is ridiculous and illogical to even consider animals, whether it's on the farm, anywhere else, in the same capacity as we would human beings. Totally silly. Yeah, so Argue what that. we're talking about, yeah, yeah, that's easy. So when we talk about treating animals the same as human beings, we're not literally saying treat each animal the same as you would treat the average human being. You treat the uh, animals um, with consideration to what their capacity no. is nope. at this, as the same as a human being, right? So a lot of animals you have dispositions for certain things. They seem to like certain things. They so seem to want to avoid certain things. They seem to have a certain kinds of experience. So if we put a pig into a farrow crate for the duration of its life, it seems to really... Um, it seems to not enjoy that. When we rip the testicles off of pigs um, without anesthetic, um, they seem to really thrash and, and really fight against that. When we cut off parts of their bodies without any anesthetic, they seem to really not like that, right? They seem to really fight it. They seem to enjoy being uh, in sort of free open areas. They seem to enjoy being pat um, on occasion. They seem to enjoy um, eating certain foods and stuff like that. They seem to enjoy furrowing and, and things like that, right? Um now, they have those experiences and we have the option to not put them through really bad experiences. And the moral argument that's being put forward, and you're, when you're saying there's no moral argument, so far, let's just be clear, you've conceded that you're okay to pay for animals to be tortured, which I think is just a complete fucking loss on your part. For animals to be tortured when you have the option to not do that, for, to kill animals when you have the option to not do that, to uh, do something that's obviously worse for your health right that's obviously worse for the environment which is also a moral argument right which is uh it's actually increasing or it's pay playing a part in increasing antibiotic resistance which is going to be a huge fucking problem decades down the line which is also a moral argument and it's wasting resources that could be redirected to feed and um help other human beings and and go back to um, sorting some of our environmental problems, which is also a moral problem as well, right? So it's not just the moral problem of you're okay paying for people to torture animals. It's all of these other things that you're okay with. That's the moral problems that you're conceding to. Sure. Can yeah, so that, that looks pretty point. bad on your part. It, it, who cares if it looks bad on my part? I want you to argue my point. Are you, sorry, are you just straight up conceding all of those po all of the all of those moral points straight? Up? You're okay listen, with torturing listen, animals. Listen, You're okay with destroying listen. the environment. Logically, if if it gets to the part where we start talking about why we need to consider animals in the same vein as humans in terms of morality and reciprocation, I'll concede all of it. I want you to argue why we need to consider these animals in the same capacity as humans because I think it's ridiculous. So if it gets if it gets us there. Yeah, so the point, the point that, or the things that we would consider with regards to um, these animals being given better consideration is they seem to be able to experience pain. They seem to have certain dispositions that we would consider valuable in human beings, uh, both for things and against things, right? And so we would like those factors to be considered when we treat animals in certain ways. And we think it, we ought not farm animals and put them into situations where they are literally being tortured, right? Okay. No, I mean, what do you mean, okay? That's 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 the point of why we all treat animals with the same consideration of how we um, treat human beings with the same capacity. Oh. Okay, so here's my response to that. Because animals have no obligation to us to reciprocate what we just gave to them, it's silly for us humans to extend that back to those guys. What because do you mean by reciprocate? All those animals, I'm, do you know what the word reciprocate means? No, no, no. I'm, I understand it the word reciprocate, return. but what do you mean from... So, like, my, I've met pigs and, and cows that are yes. perfectly peaceful, and they're, they're not trying to, like, punch you. They're not trying to, like, headbutt you or anything. Same with dogs. The, what do you mean by reciprocate? A dog will bite you, though. My dog, my dog doesn't bite me. Okay, well, I, I mean, some other people's dogs have. Okay, so should I punch my dog in the face because some other dog might might bite me? No, I certainly don't think so. But here's the thing. The dog has no obligation to not bite you, is my point. And I mean, I the have... The pig no... has no obligation. The pig has no obligation 
to not what, hurt you, even if the pig doesn't. What, what does cool. what does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean by that? What it means? Okay, what do you mean by that? Okay, I'm explaining what I mean by that. What I mean by that is the pig, in terms of morality and and functioning in our society, in order to keep things going, we have to make certain agreements and concessions to each other. Which means I'm not going to take your stuff. You're not going to take my stuff. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. Animals cannot live like that in principle, in their function. Because as much as you have this pig over here, you have a fox, you have a wolf, you have a coyote who's going to come and kill that pig no matter what. It's, it's just, there's, there's no way you can apply that same metric of we need to reciprocate and make sure we protect each other between animals. Because the nature of even our existence as human beings, as every living organism, except for like plants, is that we have to consume, well, actually, even some plants do this, but we have to consume other organisms for energy. Is That's just the basic okay. nature of biological reality. It, it has to be done. In, the same, in, in, in plants, it, it, plants are still living organisms we have to consume. It just That's just how it is. Do you, do you think plants have a subject of experience? I, I, it, listen, it doesn't matter. Do it doesn't matter can... if the animals have subjective experiences. Do you think the wolf cares about the pig's subjective experience? If that wolf doesn't care, why should me as a human care? <laughs> what obligation do I have? To, wh why should I care about the wolf out in, in the pasture, out in okay. the forest? So all I want is just a clear argument all as I to why it's okay. All I want is an answer to my question. Why should I care about this wolf? Okay, Should so I why do you care about human beings? If, if I have, why do you, if I have, why do you I care? care why do you care? Why do you care about human beings? I just okay. told you why to keep our yeah, so society functioning. That's fine. We, we can we can talk about the move. Do you think? Do you, just one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. So, do you think that the that wolves actually understand morality to the level of human beings? Do you think also That's addition my on top point. of that? No, no, they no, don't. no, no. That's not, that's that's not point. a point. That's not a point in your favor. That's not a point point in your favor. That 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 asserts whether we judge them and punish them in a certain way. Do you understand that, right? Exactly. Do we do that? No, 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 no. Do we take that, wolves to court? No, do we don't. Th yeah, okay. Do you think do you think that pigs understand morality and cows understand morality to the same level of as human beings? No. Do you think Brie understands morality to the same level as the average human being? No. Should we farm Brie? No. Why are we farming? If your argument, right, no, is we should we should farm them. Just one second. We, uh, we should treat we should treat animals. We should treat animals that way because they don't understand moral responsibility to that level. Then it ought to be the case that we should farm. Brie. Or human beings to, that understand morality to that same level. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, then that's just uh, that's on you to explain that further. If you're I saying have, it's I the th the thing, further. the thing is I is their over inability over. is their inability. If you're saying if you're saying that okay, cool. Then we we can we can go into another hypo. And by the way, we can just I can just ask you what's the specific thing for you that you care about with regards to human beings? Are you talking about their DNA? Are you talking about the way they look? What is it about human beings? As you just get I'm talking, going on I'm the talking about their spirit. I'm talking about their soul. I'm talking about our responsibility to them morally. Listen, here's okay, the thing. Check you, this out. Old are you? Are you? Sorry, just. Are hold you, on. Hold on. Are you, are you a? Hold on. Are you, hold on. You're are gonna you a, a ramble? And I gonna say no, 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 this no, I'm just gonna ask. Listen, do you, listen. Are you listen, like? Do you actually believe in the soul? Hold you believe in the soul? Yes, the soul, the spirit, the mind. I think there is value to all of us as human beings. That includes you as well, by the way. I mean, as yeah, frustrated so as I am, just, like, I still think I just, you have value. I, okay? I just want to be clear. So Are you talking have, about like and religious? And that includes Brie. It, it could be religious. It could be... It doesn't matter. Okay? The point is, because Brie is a human being, she came from two human beings, they have an obligation to her, her parents. They love her. They care about her. She has value to them. Okay? Do you get that? Yeah, I'm just going to write down some of this stuff. Okay. So, because Brie is an outlier to humanity, the, 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 the word principle means relating to the definition of something. Okay? So, in principle, as a human being, it doesn't matter if you have special characteristics or special outliers or different things. The principal idea is that we as human beings have a moral obligation to each other 
to keep our society going and functioning. It's the only way our society can function. It's just that plain and simple. There's no way you can apply that to other species because the nature of existence is consuming other organisms in order to continue to exist. That would include plants as well, even if they don't have a central nervous system or whatever. We have to consume them just to exist and thrive and, and be. That's just how it works. So you can't apply to how we treat humans, to how we treat other animals, because in principle, the function of biology does not allow for that. The only way for us to continue to exist is we have to say that I'm more important than this thing, or like my, my existence is more important than that other organism's existence. That's just how it, that's just how the world functions. Okay, cool. Give me a second. So it doesn't matter if Brie is, is mentally challenged or Brie doesn't understand morality. The basic principle is Brie is a human and Brie has a family. Cool. I'm just making a list of everything. Okay. Okay, so we've got five things on the table. Uh, this is what I was getting at. So you got uh, Brie has parents. Brie, uh, the majority of human beings um, are a certain way. Society needs to be able to function. Consuming, you have to consume organisms to live. And Brie, Brie, Brie is, is a human. Is a human. Brie is a human. Yeah. Okay. In principle. What do you mean by in principle? I mean relating to the definition of. Okay. The so definition of a and, human. Free yep. is a human being in terms of biology, DNA, thought function, all of that. Okay, cool. I'm just going to maybe break that down further. Okay, cool. So, so just just to find out what what we would have to change about Brie to make her farmable within your view, she has parents that care about her or have an obligation for her. Uh, you would have the majority. Have of your, there's your answer. So you would have to just not be a human. Okay. So let's just say something like Yoda. Could we farm okay. Yoda? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, could we farm, say there was a set of, uh, let's just say Neanderthals, I think technically don't classify as human beings, but uh, otherwise, uh, so if we found a set of uh, Neanderthals or we brought them back, right, and we, start, uh, and we started um, farming them, and so that we've just got a set of people who are able to function in our society, are perfectly fine, they're, they're not human beings, which is, so you've, you've collapsed everything down to they just need to be human or not human. For us to be able well, to follow. Well, no, no, no. Can they reciprocate morality? Can they understand it? Oh, okay. Now, 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 now you've added that back on. Right? I so added you said, it, yeah. You, okay. So you contradicted yourself. You said it just has okay. to be human being. Now you're saying it has to be something else. You so said, okay. Yeah. So you, now you just copped. This is probably the fifth contradiction or something like that, right? Okay. So. All right, cool. So it's not just human so, beings. So, so now, now all of that so, things I've so listed. Listen. This is so what listen. I mean by ramble. Just one second. Just, no, 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 no. Listen. 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 Just stop. Just listen. stop. Just stop. Listen. Just stop. Listen. This is what I mean by ramble. Okay. So I wrote okay. down a, a list of five things. Okay. You collapse that down to one thing, and then as soon as I attack that one thing, you've tried to attach another one thing on top of that as well, right? So this is listen. what I mean. It's, you're just all over the is fucking place. Car, so I'll write it down again. Okay. Is and you can go on this ramble again. Is a car a tire? Or is a car a summation of multiple parts together. Which means if I take a tire off of a car, does it stop being a car? Or is that just one individual part? Your finger. Is your finger a human being? No. So it's the whole argument. Every element has to be present at the same time. Okay? Do you get that? So it doesn't matter if you can, you can pick multiple parts and, and, and sh strip it apart. Okay? But in principle, when it comes to my argument, as human beings between us, we recognize each other in terms of morality, in terms of social cohesion, in terms of moral responsibility, 
giving it back and, and, and receiving it. We all get that. Animals cannot do that. So unless you can argue that it's okay or that animals can do this in some capacity, then, then you've got nothing. Which you yeah, haven't even done. You haven't even you haven't even attempted to do so in this whole entire oh, time. We're, get, we're getting at it, bro. Well, then so, get uh, at uh, it. I just or have to. I, I had to remake to the list. To me why I, it is okay. I had to remake why the list. You treat I, any animal the same way I treat a human. I don't. I don't understand. So that's uh, yeah. So Still, that's that's just a straw man. That's a straw man. Okay, okay. Stop. Stop. I can do us that. Humans the same way. No bear. No pig. No cow. No horse. No, they won't. They won't do it. They don't even have the capacity to do it. Treat us the same way. In what? In, in what? In what uh, meaning do you mean? In terms of morality, my friend. And what do you mean by that? In terms of the way that we treat each other, and the way we should treat each other, and shouldn't treat each. other. And specifically, what do you mean by that? I'm not, I'm not being as smart as I specifically. I, I want specific, you to be specific. Specifically said it in terms of how we treat each other. What specifically do you mean by that? What specific? Do you live in a society? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. But you, uh, you, like, you I, I make out, Leah, just, just listen. So I make out, just listen. listen. I make out with my you girlfriend. Go to right? the store? Just listen. Yeah. Just listen okay. for a sec. Just listen. Do you, do you I make out with my girlfriend, but I don't, ma- do you, I don't make out with is... all of the people in the street, okay? Okay. So I specifically want you to make, be clear about So now we're talking about, about relationships then. Now we're talking no, about no, marriage. No, 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 Obviously, right. but here's what you don't do: you don't steal from the random girl down the street, and you don't steal from your girlfriend. Okay, okay cool. So in terms of stealing, you don't kill the random girl, and you don't kill your girlfriend. Okay, you, cool. you've got basic common sense, dude. You've got common sense. Come on, you're so, smart. You yeah. understand perfectly well what I mean. We don't burn other people's houses down to the ground. We don't commit arson. Okay, and when we do, we put those people in prison. You understand that? You have common yeah. sense. Stop, stop mm-hmm. pretending that you don't get this. No, I'm just I'm trying to get specifically to your point, right? So the 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 vegan point is not that we should treat animals exactly the same that we the way that we treat human beings. We should treat animals with respect to how we would treat human beings of like a similar capacity, right? So I I wouldn't expect to give a driver's license to a pig. I haven't seen a pig that could genuinely drive, okay? But I wouldn't think it's okay to farm a pig, right? And I wouldn't think it's okay to farm a human being that has the same capacities as a well, pig. That's a contradiction. Right? So, no, no, no. All right, then pro- show the contradiction. The contradiction is, the is you're saying that you can't give a pig some consideration, but you can give them other considerations. I'm okay. saying you can't How's give them any consideration. Okay. So what is a consideration? So you can't give oh, the pig so, the license. What, 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 no, 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 no. What's the contradiction? No, no, no. I, no, 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 Because no, no, for some no, other no, no. reason? Just tell me what a contradiction is. First of all, I just want to, I just want you to explain to me what a contradiction is. A contradiction is when you say something that's the opposite of what you said originally. Okay, it has to, it's, mm, that's it's the opposite. That, no, there's a there's a better there's a better. Maybe there's a um, better. De- you know what it, you know what it means, dude. Come no, on. no, I I know, but I don't know if well, you all know. All right, this. then. If you know what a contradiction hey, is, then tell on. me what it dude, is. Dude, dude, listen. Then show listen, me the contradiction. Dude, we're, 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 we're both adults here. We're both intelligent people. Let's. No, let's no, I, don't, I do not give a fuck about that. Don't, just don't give me, don't, don't, don't give me that shit. Like, don't give me that. I don't, do not give a fuck. Exactly. Give That's me the definition point. of contradiction. No, give me the definition of contradiction. Do you need? Do we need to go on Google to look up the definition of contradiction? I can just tell you straight up. So it's it's a proposition and the negation of that proposition okay. in the same context. All right, then. Okay, now show me where I contradicted myself. You're saying that we need to have some consideration for the fact that we don't treat animals the same way as humans. We don't give them licenses because they can't drive. But in that mm-hmm. same token, you're saying that it's not okay to eat them because some other reason. Okay, so what's the contradiction? The contradiction is you're having a special categorization for these animals in one hand, but not in the other Okay, so show me the contradiction. The contradiction is some for some reason we can't treat the pig like a human, but we have to not be able to eat the pig either. So show me the contradiction. The the contradiction is you can't treat the pig in two separate different categories. It's either a pig or it's not a pig. I don't first of all, I don't I don't remember saying it is and not isn't a pig, but I want you to show me the contradiction. Okay. Why do we not give pigs driver's licenses? So they haven't been able to show the capacity to 
um, understand the responsibility and have the capacity to actually drive it. So why can I not eat the pig? Okay, how's that? How's that a contradiction? Why can I not eat the pig? So look, here's, just show us the contradiction. Why you shouldn't even I have to ask me a question. So just listen. You should be able to just spell out the contradiction, right? You should be able to spell out the contradiction without asking me any questions. That's how. That if you found you the contradiction, should you should just be able to spell it question. out. No, no, it's actually irrelevant. Just show no, me the contradiction. No, 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 no. It just show me that here. Look, it's just P and not P. All right. Look here. I'll, I'll write I'll write out a super simple contradiction for you, and I want you to show me the same thing. Here, I'll, I'll even I'll even use one of the example of something along the lines of what you wrote, and I'll show you a contradiction. Okay. You're still there, right? Yep. So just in in in. I'm I'm just checking. All right. So it is the case that pigs can drive. It's not the case that pigs can drive. So just show me a contradiction. Something like that. That should be a contradiction. You should just show me the contradiction. If you have a contradiction, show me the contradiction. The contradiction is having two separate categories for how we treat the pig. So can you spell out the contradiction? The contradiction is that pigs shouldn't be treated the same as humans. But okay, so I, reason, we treat them the I same as humans. That is, okay. we don't eat them. Okay, can we you show me where I actually one. said that? You, yeah, so. you said that we don't eat the pig the same way we don't eat the humans. I don't think I've said that. All right, then. I, I just I just want you to, it's it, like, you have a look at what I've written, right? So it just should be something that simple. Okay. Right, so just show me a contradiction where I've contradicted myself. I, I keep telling you. So just, if you have to, just write it out and show me where it contradicts. I'm happy to lot, just there's wait. A, there's a lot but, of people oh, it's, that. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. Just take your time. Just write it out. I would just like to show me a contradiction. There. That's not a contradiction. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. That's actually not even a contradiction. We don't do something and we should do something is not a contradiction. So write out when a contradiction. It comes to how we treat this pig, yes, it is. Just, so l listen, okay, right. listen, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll even show you how simple it is. It's not a contradiction. So in Australia, um, we don't have legalized marijuana, except we should have legalized marijuana. Is that a contradiction? No. Okay. So just go over your sentence that you wrote and just have a look over it and try and figure out whether there's a contradiction. I did. Your proposition. If we're talking about the what? reality of how we treat pigs, which is how it is show treated, me, which is show what me I said, the contradiction. Just show I me. The we're not moving off Lord here. Lord have mercy. How many me times do I have to say the same thing over and over and again? You haven't shown a contradiction. So when you show the contradiction, we, we right. can move you know on. What? Okay, you win. You're done. You win. You win. I, I'm not done. I'm not done. I just want move to on. show me the contradiction. Move on. You I conceding? Move on. Are you okay? Cool. I concede. Are you conceding? Move on. You are conceding you that you I don't concede. have a contradiction. Move on. I don't have a contradiction. Right. Move on. Just to be clear. Okay, cool. That's Just fine. Just to be clear, I am done. I don't have a contradiction. Move on. Cool. Um, where should we go from here, man? You still have not addressed my points. Oh, okay. My yeah, sorry. My point is we cannot treat animals the same way we treat humans. It, feasibly, it is impossible. 
based okay, on cool. just show, how show nature me, works. Me. I'm okay, telling show me, show me you over and over again that. how nature works. Every organism <laughs> has to prioritize their own existence over another in order to live, in order to thrive. That's just how existence is. That goes for plants. That goes for animals. That even goes between us as human beings when we go for job opportunities. That's just the nature of existence. Okay? Trying to apply the law of human to the law of nature cannot work. You cannot get a snake to not go and eat the egg from some, some bird somewhere. You can't do it. You, you can't get a snake to not eat a rat. They, they, it, it, too bad. So sad. You can't do it. You cannot apply those laws to those animals. But by some logic that you have, we're supposed to apply the same laws we have as humans to these animals, and we can't eat them even though those animals will never hesitate to not attack us or not kill us. Never. And it's silly. Okay. So if it's, if it's the case that a, a snake will eat a rat, why is it the case that we should continue farming animals? Because we have no obligation to them. Okay. Because what it is you... an industry that makes lots of money. Okay, so as long as we make money, it's okay. Yes. Is that that's sure? Okay, cool. If, if that's what, if can that's what's going to take, we can just roll back. I, for we, can some just, reason, we can just roll back. We can just roll back. We can be able to comprehend we just... that we have no obligation to these animals. You take every other smaller detail and then you blow it up, missing well, I, okay, what yeah, I am yeah, saying. Okay. In principle, what I am saying is humans have no obligation to animals. Animals have no obligation to humans. It doesn't matter. Money, this, business, no. Okay, we just have no obligation to each other. Argue that okay, point. Cool. Show me so, how any animal has an obligation to us as human beings. Cool. Do do we do humans have obligations to other human beings? Lord. Yes. Okay, and what's that based upon? It's based upon functioning society. Okay, and what's we what does that mean? Have sites we cannot have a currency system if everyone steals from each other. The currency would be meaningless because you would just take what you want. Do you, you understand? You live, you, you live in a society, dude. You function in a society. You, you mm -hmm. ask me to explain fundamental, basic understandings that you go through like, like you're not living through this world. Like you don't drive in a car and you don't have a traffic light system. You cannot go if the light is red. Why? Because you'll be going into ongoing traffic and you can kill someone that way, if not hurt yourself and that other person. That's why you don't do it. Just in terms of having a functioning traffic system, we have to understand green means go, yellow means slow down, red means stop. That's it. Just for it to function, we all have to do it. Because if it doesn't, if, so if one person runs the red light, they can kill someone. If not, cause a car accident and then back up traffic and then we have that kind of chaos. You understand that. Is, I know you understand I just, uh, that because you're a yeah, human just, being with um, a functioning cognitive system. I know you understand that. Show I'm me just, how I'm just gonna... a pig has a responsibility to me as a human being. Okay. So that that's a big jump that I'm not even sure. I just I got to just So ask. you can't do it then. Is so it possible? It. Is it is it possible? Cuz well, that's not my argument, but is it possible? That is my right, argument. That, I, just, a, just a little nitpicky thing, right? So is it possible that somebody could go through a red light and society can still function? The traffic system cannot function. So if is there any situation you where some... Point. You've done it again. You have totally missed the point. <laughs> if, if I'm talking about the traffic light system, I'm not talking about all of society. So let's actually start talking about society. If we all started stealing from each other, can society function? No, it can't. So if one person runs the red light, did they steal from someone? No. But the traffic system isn't going to work because they just hit somebody. They just got into a car accident. Didn't work. But if, again, if we all under, have the, all under, the same understanding that we can just take whatever we want from each other, we can't have businesses. We can't have trust in our family units because we, we wouldn't know who's taking all of our stuff. We wouldn't be able to, to barter and trade or do anything like that because everyone would just be stealing from each other. So in terms of that, no, you cannot have a functioning society in that system. That's why okay. we don't steal from each other. Okay. So it seems to be something along the lines of if, if there was people um, acting in a certain way, that would cause too much of a, um, a problem in, in, to, for society to function. 
Yes. So if you had if you had the majority of people mis misbehaving in a certain way, right? Yes. Okay. Now she, can you can yeah. So I'm just saying. Just, chaos. Yeah. So if it you have need, if you have enough, it doesn't need to be a majority. If one person commits murder, there's there's a whole bunch. It's talking about an assassination of a high figure or a, a, someone who's is a CEO. One murder. It, okay, do, cool. it doesn't matter. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily obviously have to be the majority of people. It just has to be enough chaos. That causes society to break down, right? Yeah, we can we can see that every day. Okay, and can you tell me why we ought continue continue farming animals based upon them? Because we as human beings have no obligation to those animals. Okay, so this is this is where I'm just tripping up because it doesn't. It just seems to be this big jump where you go. Society continues to uh, would need to function in a certain way to um, to not break down, and then you're saying we don't have an obligation to animals, which I, I don't really see how that's con those two things are connecting. So can you just write that out for me if you can? Uh, uh, you want me to write it out here in in, in the Discord chat? Yeah, sure, because that that solved the problem for when you said uh, that I contradicted myself. So hopefully, maybe this will solve this problem as well. There. Okay. Uh, animals have no obligation to us human being to us human. Thus, we have none to them. They have no responsibility to harm us or steal from us. Uh, thus, we have none to them. They cannot comprehend morality and they cannot reciprocate. Okay. So is it just if if uh, an individual um, have no responsibility? Okay. So if an individually, individual for, how, how are you getting to the point that they have no responsibility to not harm us? Because they don't. What do you, what do you mean? So do you, uh, I'm I'm actually asking. So I understand legal responsibility. Have you right? ever taken a wolf to court? Have no, you okay, so are you just are you are you, are you just no 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 yeah. You see, I'm just I'm just I'm just getting it clear from you. When you're saying responsibility, you're just talking about legal responsibility. I'm talking about the whole shebang, legal, moral, society. Yeah, no, I don't. I, so I don't. don't I don't agree society. with this. No, 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 I don't, this, this is, yeah, this is, this, this right, is where, argue the point, this argue is where, yeah, yeah. go on, so go by responsibility, I just want to make sure, like, you, you understand that animals can understand that they ought not attack certain things because there could be harm done to them. Sure. Okay, so what do you mean by responsibility to not harm us? Will an animal still attack you, dude? I, I don't even, know. Even, my, like, even, my dog's sitting listen, behind listen, me, and it's listen, not attacking. Watch okay, watch this. When I was a kid, oh, and this is going to be a ramble, by the way, so let me just prep you for this ramble. When I was a kid, me and my friends were in the neighborhood, and these two um, kids came with their dog. So we were playing around with them for a while, and then what happened was we moved over to some old mattress that was off in some dumpster somewhere. We started jumping on the mattress. The dog, for all of no reason, decided that he wanted to attack one of my friends there. It, he just for for no reason, he just ran after my friend and bit him. So where where was the obligation for that dog to not attack my friend? Can I take that dog to court for assault? Or yes, so can I take the human to court because they had responsibility over the dog? Isn't that how that works? 
Okay, so just out of curiosity, if you if uh, Isaac's essentially actually written it down, but if you replace that with uh, a human being with the same compa- cognitive capacity as a dog, right? That so you just had that. some. No, 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 do answer. Do, does that person have a response? Yeah, no, I, I'm actually answering your question. Go can no, I take you can't. that dog to go? All right, then. You can try. Yeah. So there's no obligation for okay, so the is dog it, to not attack us. You, is, you is, is, is your argument? Is your argument? Is your argument that if you can't take something to court, then you can fight? My argument is we have. I'm just trying to get clarity here. Over and over and over again. Because okay. we don't what actually understand. I don't think point. you have coherent. I I don't know. The, it doesn't sound coherent. The coherency of court relates to the responsibility we as humans have to each other. So we use the court system in order to regulate that responsibility that we have. So the court is a mechanism of responsibility to each other. That's the point of me saying, do we take it to court? That's the point. The point okay. isn't to say that you're only moral because you have the courts. That's not no. That's not no. You're missing it. The point is that's how we regulate responsibility between two parties. You cannot do that with an animal. That is my point. Okay, so this is where I'm just getting stuck. Are you actually just saying because if there's a creature that you can't take to court, it's okay what? to farm farm animals? I, I'm just trying to get it clear, mate. Just, I just want like a clear, good argument for what you're actually trying I, to say. I keep saying the same thing over and over again, dude. So, so far, we've got can't take to court, therefore okay to farm, is where I'm stuck at. Literally, I, I literally just explain why that that is not my point. I literally okay. just said that the court is a mechanism of responsibility that we have between each other. I literally just said that. The point is not that we can't take them to court. The point is that there's no responsibility be- between us. We can't regulate that responsibility between us. That's the point. That's what the court represents. Okay, cool. Do you, do you that's, understand? And, and I just, do I just want, I want to know what you mean by do that. I you want, understand want to understand. It. No, no, actually, what, I don't understand. So you don't what understand. You mean. Okay. So, so I don't understand what you mean by responsibility, right? So, like, my, so, so, for example, I've seen animals that understand. So, if my dog does something wrong, I can tell him off, right, and he'll stop doing that thing, right? Maybe. So that seems like he understands he has a responsibility to not do that thing. And he he's learned to not do certain things. So he, he's learned to not pee inside, right? He's learned not to chew certain things, right? So he seems to understand that he has some degree of responsibility to not do certain things, if that's what you're getting at. Yes. Dogs are actually pretty special in general. Okay. For and some general- dogs, at least. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's not so. If you if the claim you're making is with regard to responsibility, it seemed I mean, at first still, that you're talking I, about I mean, court systems. Just, just one second, just just one second, just one second. I don't care about what I understand that happens in the world, right? I don't give. A, that's not the point I'm getting, right? So all I'm saying is, you said earlier that it's responsibility. The responsibility seemed to be something to do with um, the court system, but it's not that. It seems to be the case that if the animals uh, can understand that they ought and ought not do certain things, right? Um, and they can modulate their behavior based on that, then that seems like a good reason to not farm them. So I'm just trying to get clear on what your point is. My point is that... And and if you can write it out again, that would be great. Have no moral responsibility to us. Okay, and just be clear about that. And be clear about that. Which means animals are under no obligation to not attack us, but no what do you mean by that? Not, I, do you so know what? It do means? you mean legal responsibility? To attack them with their fangs, their claws, their teeth, their poison, their venom, their stingers. Okay. There's so, no so yeah, yeah, just, just, There's it's no just social obligation in terms of our, our society functioning. A coyote has no moral obligation it's in terms of society legally. There's no laws. There's no social proof. There's no unwritten rules. There's no unwritten agreement between us. There's none of that between me and a pig and a cow and a deer and a fox or anything or any animal, any, doesn't matter. There's none of that between us. And in the same way that I cannot impose. So can, can you just write this down? So I'm not, I'm not interested in, in further rambling. Just write it down. Because so far you got, you said responsibility. You said, you said something about that. Just write it down. You're going to call, you're gonna call everything I say a ramble. Yeah, you're just not even addressing what I'm saying. Yeah, because I don't nobody. You're not listening. At this listen, point, dude, at this listen, point dude, I don't know thing, what you're saying. Like, like at this point, dude. Like here's the thing, man. Like I've, like I, I, I am legitimately getting frustrated at at this point, 
because you you seem to be pretending that you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, you, you you're you're pretending that you don't seem to grasp this point, and I don't understand why. I I don't get this, and this is what's frustrating me about this. All right, you understand that animals cannot be treated the same way as humans. You understand that. I know you understand that because you're not stupid, okay? But by, for some reason, you think that we should not kill them, that we should not eat them, that we should not farm them. That, that's your discrepancy. You, you, you stop there and say that that's not okay, all right? So I want you to argue why that be the case. Because I honestly don't think we have any obligation to these animals the same way the animals don't have any obligation to us. We're on the same playing field. Which means okay, cool. if a wolf, if, listen, if a wolf came out of nowhere, just randomly, just, I don't know, killed my son, I can't take that, I can be mad, mad, I can be angry, I can't take that wolf to court, but if a human broke into my house and he killed my son and the police caught him, I can take him to court and we can get him in prison, if not get him executed by capital punishment. Do you, do you, do you see the difference between those two things? Yeah, so I don't think that's problematic in the vegan view. You get that, right? So the name, the trade argument and the, the consideration that we're using, it just doesn't, that's not problematic, right? So if you take in the context of all the factors that are relevant to this, right? So you said uh, a wolf broke into your house, um, attacked your son. In the same way, right? If you had a human being jumped into your house, I don't know, attacked your son, we would be okay with you um, protecting your son. I don't see a problem with that. If it's the case that that human being killed your son before you had a chance to do something about it, right, it would be okay for the relevant authorities to either, uh, con like, get a hold of that individual or, if, I, if unable to, uh, then kill that individual, right? Um, if that person has the capacity to understand that, to understand moral... I guess, morality at a higher level, then they should be taken to court, um, be tried, and then be punished suitably, right? If they are not, then they will likely have somebody representing or arguing on their behalf, and their decision will be made on that individual's behalf, right? And then the action should be commensurate to... Um, the the, the the sorry the punishment should be commensurate to the action that's been taken. None of that is problematic within the vegan view. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Now, I just want to be clear. Uh, I, um, I'll try and give you one more go, and then at this point, I'll probably call it. Can you actually show me what you mean by uh, moral responsibility because none of this is actually problematic in the vegan view and it actually doesn't it's it's not in any way going to i wouldn't think justify us continuing to uh, farm animals um i don't know what else to say man yeah I, i'm not sure you have much of an argument but at this point i'm just gonna uh, get isaac to jump in because i'm probably gonna roll it up at this yeah, I've 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 said my piece, and you've refused to uh, to argue the point. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I will I will ask. Let me ask one last question though, because this is one thing I've wondered about a lot of vegans. How do you guys uh, feel about abortion, though? How's that relevant to veganism? This is relevant between my 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 thought. So I'm just wondering. Can you, guys, can you can you make a? Yeah, we're, there's several people here with million, specific. Okay, okay. Millions strong... of millions of fetuses are killed on a daily basis okay, maybe, because they're not wanted. Maybe I'll come in for a minute.